Between every Apple device, you have different chargers for different devices. Older iPhones and AirPods have Lightning. Newer ones have USB Type-C. Apple Watch chargers have the puck. If you have one wall plug, it can really get crowded. Traveling becomes even more of a headache. I have two devices that can quench that ailment. And yes, they are both aluminum. Hey, how's it going? It's V. Let's get started. One cable to rule every device. That is called USB-C. Gone are the days where lightning ruled the earth. I have two 3-in-1 docking stations from a company called Kushu, making any desk surface look cleaner without cables spewing everywhere. One is more ideal for an office, and the other is a perfect travel companion. Both are made from aluminum, and they look so striking. They both can be picked up off Amazon for under $70. The price is about in the same range as a competition and is sell less than half the price of what Apple, Logitech, and Anchor sells. The first one is the Kushu X23 Pro. It comes in one color like space gray. This one is more stationary, more ideal for a bedside or office space. It's made from aluminum and charges every Apple device out there with a single USB-C cable. Inside the box, you are given a power brick. It's USB Type-C, which can do 20 watts. A USB Type-C to Type-C charging cable. The instructions and the 3-in-1 dock. On the back side, you have the LED charging light and the USB-C port. The bomb has two rubber non-slipping pads to help prevent it from sliding around. The docking station will charge any iPhone at 7.5 watts, Apple Watches, AirPods around 2 to 3 watts. The one in the middle is meant for any MagSafe compliant device such as any iPhone 12 series and above. AirPod Pros will work if they have the MagSafe case. The right charging pad is just for the Apple Watch. The left side is a normal regular charging pad. There are no magnets to hold anything into place like the other two. I am not a fan of the LED charging light on the back side. I do wish it were on the front. Any iPhone will work with a middle pad, 12 series and above. Older iPhones will work if they do have a MagSafe case. The magnets here are really strong. No iPhones will go flying off. The charger can rotate and swivel around to find the perfect angle for watching videos or FaceTime calls. When rotated into landscape mode, it does activate bedside mode. It does sometimes give off the MagSafe charging icon. It's just normal charging speeds. AirPods on the MagSafe case will only do a couple watts and the magnets are quite durable. The pad on the left hand side, there is no magnets to hold anything into place. iPhones will only charge at 5 watts watch for the left one. The middle one is the fastest. Either device can be swapped out, so charging two phones at the same time or two different headphones. This dock is not specific for anything Apple. Android phones will work, but it's more ideal for Apple products. Except for the charging pad on the right side, that will only charge the Apple Watch any size, any generation. It's about an hour or so to charge my Series 9 from 0 to 100. Between Apple, Logitech, and Anchor, their charging pads are over 100. This is under 70. It does put more money back in your pocket. This device is more stationary, more ideal for any bedside or any home office. I can travel with this, but it's really not pocket friendly. Rotating any iPhone will activate bedside mode, swapping between alarms, different clock faces, photos, calendars, and so much more. I really do like this device. I've been using more budget classic ones in the past, and this is the one that feels premium compared to those, and this will last quite a bit longer. Like this device makes my home office a bit more minimalistic. One device to charge everything does not reinvent the wheel, but it does take a good concept and make it more affordable. It's a nice three in one docking station, which I've been using for quite a while now, and by far it's really worth it. The second item is the Kushu X40 foldable three in one docking station. This can be picked up off Amazon. It comes in three colors, black, gray, and silver. I did review the gray one last year. I figured it would be a good time to look back at it. I was sent the black one this time around. It's made from aluminum and the build quality is still equally as good. This will work with any device with wireless charging, but caters more to Apple products. It's more pocket friendly and it's one cable to charge everything. Inside the box, you have the carbon fiber carrying case. Open that up. There is a pancake charger, the USB Type-C to Type-C charging cable and the 20 watt power brick. The first one I reviewed was the gray one. I do like the color is better. On the back side has the USB-C port and the LED charging light. Personally, it should be in the front.
quality here is top notch. For a portable charger, like the build quality is really that good. Plastic cannot compete with this quality. All you have to do is open it up and you have the three charging pads ready to go. The gray one, I've had that for about a year. It's still holding up quite well. The pancake charger does not have to be completely open to charge my devices. iPhones at seven and a half watts. Everything else is about three or four watts. The top pad has a MagSafe ring for iPhones 12 series and above. It will also charge AirPods with a MagSafe case. Like the first one, the magnets are quite durable and strong. It has normal charging speeds. It is not the fastest. iPhones in landscape mode will have the bedside mode for alarms, calendars, and the usual stuff. It can be tilted about 100 degrees for the perfect viewing angle for watching videos or FaceTime calls. Once fully opened, the bomb pad is for AirPods or headphones. Phones will charge on the bomb pad, but it is a little bit awkward. Apple Watches are on the middle pad. Any series will work, any size, any generation. It will take about an hour or two to charge the Apple Watch from 0 to 100. This is the perfect travel companion for anyone on the go. This is very pocket friendly. It's about the same size as a deck of cards. This really is one to consider. Both chargers cater to different audiences. One is more stationary and the other is for those nomads out there on the go. Both do what is advertised. I've been using both of them for a few months and they're still going strong. Really no need to bring multiple cables for all my Apple gear. All you need is one cable, one power brick, and that's really about it. It makes any desk surface look cleaner without cables being cluttered everywhere. Cable management is life. Both are made from aluminum under $70 and just look that good. These are two devices to really check out. So like always, it's V. Stay classy.